Hey everybody, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games. I hope you're well and having a great day. This is Meow Motors, which is a new kart style game uh, for one to four players locally, no online. Now, I was significantly upset and annoyed at how rubbish I found and just unfinished the carters was. So when uh, the developer from Meow Motors reached out and was like, we think you might like this one though. I was like, hmm, you're gonna have to have some chops because I was quite savage in what I said about the Carters. And generally, I'm a very po positive reviewer. And that game was just terrible, I'm afraid. Or it, was, it shouldn't have been released in its state. However, in my quest for a decent kart game in 2018, Meow Motors has hit the nail on the head. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've been playing it for about two and a half hours now. So I feel like I'm, I've got into the mechanics and understand how it works. Now, uh, it's worthwhile noting, if you're going to pick this up and expect immediate local uh, multiplayer action, it's well worthwhile spending an hour or so of it beforehand, because the career mode is how you unlock all the characters, all the cars, and all the weapons. So you start off with one car, one, one cat, and one weapon, and then each at the end of each uh, thing, when you collect all of the stars, you unlock a new one of each, so it pays to go away, all the way through the career mode to unlock everything, so that when you've then got your mates over for quick race, you've got more variety to play with. Uh, and it does make the game better as you get more and more through the progression of the story as well. Uh, the cars and cats aren't mutually exclusive, so you can choose whatever type of car you want and change the colour and so on. Um, and then mix and match your cat. Now each cat has its own special ability, some can drive quicker offline, uh, Rusty uh, gets more drift points from jumps, um, the original guy, I've forgotten his name, uh, can never do a duff start if you overpower your engine on takeoff. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can do uh, to customise your ride. Plenty of tracks as well. The tracks are really well put together in terms of theming. You will see the same types of things popping up time and time again. Um, in terms of there will always be things crossing the track to get in your way, but they're themed differently for each uh, track. So let's go, let's do some treasure. You can see where I'm halfway through the story. I've got half the power ups. Uh, but that's providing me ample uh, entertainment so far. Uh, you have drift races, strike races, which is where you can uh, take each other out, or you can just go for a proper race, which is what I'm going to show here. Two laps, and I'll stick on eight other opponents. Uh, the one downside so far that I found in this game is that there is some spelling mistakes, as you saw there on that screen with opponents, uh, and some Russian um, English, because it's a Russian team that are developing it, but it's such a small thing. Uh, on the start, you saw there I had to feather the uh, trigger to accelerate and get into the green zone to make a perfect start. Then it's the triggers to speed up and slow down, uh, and then you've got one button to boost, uh, sorry, drift. Drifting increases your boost score, and your boost, or your energy rather, is probably the better term for it. But you can use your energy in two different ways. So you can boost, as I just did there, and now I've got a power up and I've got no one to shoot it at. Um, but one of the big things that I've always found is that if you're running out front, as I am at the moment, um, when you are out front, you can boost and try and get further ahead, but you're always having to play, like, catch up behind. And what this does is it allows you to use your boost points to lay oil. Oh, as I then drive into the cannon. And you can see there, Ricky got caught in some oil, it scores you some points, and it does genuinely slow people down. So uh, I find that a really nice addition because it makes your use of your boost way more tactical and also dependent on where you are position-wise in the race. Um, oh, ah, I didn't get the shield, never mind. That shark really should be... It feels like it should be more angry. <laughs> oh, we're going to get hit again. Never mind. Ah, and I missed all the uh, power-ups. Uh, so, your car has five HP, essentially, or five hits. Some weapons take one, like that shark, per thing. Some can hit you repeated times. 
and uh, cause more than one damage, essentially. Uh, and each time you get damaged, it very slightly slows down your car. So it incentivizes you to then think, right, can I continue battling up front uh, as I am here doing a rather spiffy job, it must be said. Um, or do I ignore going for power-ups and try and get something? Let's see if I can ice you. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> I knew it was going too well. <laughs> ah, we didn't quite get that right. Let's see if we can hit that power up. Nice, we repaired. Whenever you repair something, uh, it fully repairs your health. And the shield actually also does it. And you can see that guy used the shield to repel my shark attack there. Uh, but I think we've managed to get ourselves just about back ahead. Just... Now, hit that off and boost over the land to win. So, works really well. I'm running on medium AI, uh, so there is a harder difficulty to do this uh, game with if you find that the difficulty curve isn't great for you. Uh, I generally find that there is some rubber banding with the AI so that they're always right behind you, but never to the point where they then all fire their weapons at you and you end up like last over the line despite having led all of the race. Um, and I find that really good because that has always been a bit of the bane of previous lives in other games where it feels unfairly weighted. Let's try this. Sex of Pila! Uh, and let's go, let's do the Christmas one. Again, we'll do some racing. Two laps. And so on. Uh, so, in terms of the actual handling of the games, it's quite floaty, but you get used to it really quick. And there you go. I just wanted to show you what happens when you fail. <laughs> um, I do like the snowmen in this. I do like the music as well. But yeah, the uh, handling of this is really, really nice because um, it's, the, it's the drifting that feels floaty because there's no weight to the like spin. You can feel the car model is... Um, you, you can tell that you're drifting, but... Um, there's no weight to it, if that makes sense. But once you get used to that, it becomes actually really quite easy to control and get used to. Just smashing into everything in this one. Okay, let's repair. <laughs> I'm getting hammered! And you can see how knackered my car is. Ah, we just... Wrong end of the old smashery that car looks. Looks like I've been doing an F1 2017 career mode race. <laughs> so, yeah. It works so, so well. And it's just a pleasure to play something that is so nicely put together. Um, in a really simple way. Uh, let's dive onto strike mode. Let's use the Meowberg car. And here we go. So uh, more energy for jumping and collisions. Oil is wasted more slowly for Lily. Rocky, that's his name. Uh, what's that? Oil on the road does not affect handling. So Sue is a slippery beam. <clears throat> so strike mode is all about making sure that you smash enough people off the road as possible. Uh, either through power-ups or through boosting and, and ramming. Like that. 
Uh, it seems a bit arbitrary sometimes with the ramming as to what constitutes like a full smash and roll. Ah, I missed. Um, but what I really like about strike mode. There we go. Wah, 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 is. Um, that people keep respawning right in front of you. So it, you're not racing and then people get stuck and then respawn behind. It's almost like they've taken an onrush approach where everyone just respawns once you've passed them back ahead again. So you're never like having to tactically think right I've got to hit people as well as deal with like race position it deals with it all for you which I find is nice actually it's a good little quality of life feature ah I thought I'd get you nope <laughs> girl boy you don't hurt me me uh, so, as you can see, my five life health is at the top here, which is handed to no. Um, if you lose all of your lives, then that takes away one of your uh, defeats. Uh, not defeats. The, one of your takedowns. It to each other. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, there is, there is a steam achievement for getting 15, and I keep getting 13 and 14. <laughs> Someone away! <laughs> we'll get there. So that's what strike mode is like, and I'll just show drift as well, uh, which is the one that I'm least good at. I'm never good at drifting at any kind of events, but can you see on the top here, you've got this 3 of 11, 3 of 16, 3 of 19. Uh, one will unlock, the first one's always a power-up, the second one's a car, the third one's a character. So you could, in theory, actually end up unlocking loads of cars and no characters. But if you uh, adjust the difficulty down, obviously, then it will help you out unlocking stuff. Um, but it does a really good job, actually, the career mode, quote-unquote, of letting you try out different uh, cars on different tracks, different power-ups unlocking as you go. Do you spend time with that power-up before something else is introduced in? Um, it's just nicely done. And it gives the single player some weight as well. So here we go. Uh, now this mode is... Ah, dang it. I was getting greedy there. So this mode has loads of mines everywhere that kind of stop you from doing stuff. This has not gone well. You have to be so good at chaining stuff up in this one. there is a tactic to basically like coming off and on the throttle a little bit and trying to rack up your score a little bit like that and chaining up your jumps together and then I start getting worried about the score essentially and I've saved it because of those big long Smithy. Just. <laughs> that could have gone horribly wrong. 
Oh, I've saved it. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> um, but can you see how you can play around with the throttle to try and boost up your score? But I like that mechanic as well. Um, that really only works for drifting. It doesn't necessarily work too much for the actual racing itself. Um, but yeah, no bugs, no crashes, no slowdown. I'm running at 60 frames per second on maximum graphics and my PC is quite old. Admittedly, I've just updated the RAM, but my graphics card and motherboard... Uh, sorry, I've updated my graphics card, but my RAM and my motherboard um, are oof, five years old and it's running like a dream. So, and I'm screen recording, which normally sends games crashing to a hole. So yeah, I am super, super pleased that Meow Motors exists. Um, and thank you so much for the devs for sending me across a copy to take a look at. Otherwise, I'd have grabbed this later on in the year. Um, but yeah, everyone, go grab this now. If you need a cart game, this is yours. Go get, go get, go get. Two thumbs up. Um, I'll be doing more of this game on the channel uh, because I really want to show people that this is a great game and uh, there'll be a written review over on higherplanegames.com throughout uh, next week. You guys take care and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.